So the state's falling behind with vaccination efforts, as we said, but how are we doing here locally? Southeast Texas leaders say yes, the winter storm was a setback, and now they're having to make up all of those canceled appointments. Here's a closer look at the shots that were allocated versus those that have been administered. These numbers as of the close of business on Sunday. I want to draw your attention specifically to Port Arthur, which really fell behind. 12 News reporter Amelia White is live tonight with what the health department is doing. Jordan and Dage vaccination hubs like Beaumont Health Department had to close its doors for several days during the storm, but things are back to normal. I stopped by I stopped by Port Arthur Health Department today to see how they are making up for those missed days. Mass vaccination hubs across the region. We didn't get to work Monday and Tuesday. Are all trying to get back up to speed after last week's winter storm. I mean, it did push us back a little bit. If more so for first doses because it's, you know, the goal is to try to um, um, do the 500 a day. Bob Bauer Civic Center in Port Arthur, along with many others, were forced to close its doors. Our phones were just ringing, you know, because people were very concerned about not being able to get the second one in. Or even the first dose. But soon those concerns were addressed when the Bob Bowers opened its doors Wednesday afternoon. If you missed your appointment on Monday or Tuesday, you can visit the center from 9 to 5 to get your vaccine. Once we were able to get ice cleared up um, from the sidewalks, we were a we came in and we did work. You were able to see close to 700 individuals, which was a big jump. This location was averaging 500 people per day. Port Arthur Health Director Judith Smith tells 12 News they brought in several health department workers to see an extra 200 patients. So what's next? Right now, Port Arthur is continuing to focus on administering the vaccines they have available currently. Second doses of Moderna and Pfizer, but we're only doing first doses of um, Moderna. It's important to keep in mind the rules haven't changed. You can't just show up. You need an appointment. We want to be able to eventually um, open this up to anyone, no matter what age they are. That's a goal for some day in the future. But for now, the focus is still on those who are eligible. Still seeing quite a few people that are that fall into that 65 and older category of those with underlying health conditions. If you've had your first dose and you are in need of your second dose, Smith says you can show up at the Civic Center from 9 to 5 on the day your vaccination card designates. Again, this is for people who need their second dose. When you arrive, you will be asked for your vaccine card. Live in Beaumont, Amelia White, 12 News. All right, Amelia, we